welcome back to my youtube channel um let me be honest with you i this is the ugliest i've ever been on camera um if that well in my opinion maybe I'm, i've been uglier to you well hi my name is daniel welcome to my youtube channel so in today's in today's video um i'm gonna be telling you guys about how i lost my virginity so i know you're wondering daniel where did this come from i don't know where it come from either i was just here at home starving to death and i, I decided to you know put on some eggs on the stove i'm boiling six eggs six six bomba ass clad pussy bomba blood clad egg don't judge me hoes um i try my best to not be too fake because you know um there's so much plastic already in the sea oh by the way if you're hearing something in the background um it's my tv i'm playing mortal kombat it's in auto mode now so i'm gonna turn it down just for a sec BRB. anywho so this story time takes place back in it was when i was 17 or 16 i think it was 16. this took this took place back in 2015 so it was seven years ago um i was 16 years old i was going to junior high so not high school but junior high for the purpose of this video we will not be calling any names we won't be too specific because we know period uh, period uh, period we know anyway so um you know i was like i said i was 16 years old mid school limb time there um i was so ugly so skinny when we say skinny emphasis on the skinny because right now i'm a hundred and the last time i checked it was 130 something but i that was when i was trying to gain weight so i can only imagine what i am now this is what the body is. only fans link in bio so anyways back to the story so um i was young i was very ugly to me um you know when you're young and pick me up that was me so i was i had facebook um at this time facebook was the it girl like facebook was the it girl like every single oh my god something's still funny going well, on come here when my foot feels you know my friend what i want now the ground is a mess because me have much shoes or something panic wrong and love you me can't then i suck on my day off whenever it's my day off i don't usually run figure clean nothing on the first day i usually wait the last minute, like the last few hours of my day off, we start with cleaning and something. Because Lord, he knows I'm going to be at work five days after that and God bless if they clean. But back to the story. So back then, you know, Facebook was the it girl. Everybody and their sister had um, Facebook. So I was on Facebook from age 12, even though age 13 is where, you know, it is eligible for a... moving on. Anyways, so um, Facebook. Listen, when me tell you, I, when I was younger, I would always send um, like friend requests, like anybody that remotely looked like from a scale of one to ten, it's giving. My standard back then was just so low that I would send like a, a two, a five, a six, like friend requests, hoping that you know they would hook up. And I'm like Daniel, oh my God, you're so disgusting, um, because knowing me now, like literally, God bless if a ten can pass my way. I'm in a relationship. Anyways, moving on. So, um, yeah, so I was sending every single body, like, when we see under the sun, friend requests, like, and then after they accept it, I would go straight into their DMs, and I'm like, um, I like you. And they would be like, what the hell? At the time, I was like, why the fuck does none of them, like, you know, want me back? And at the time, I think I was the it boy. Like, like I said, I thought I was it. Um, yeah, I, I was it, the clown. Um, I was like sending the same message to like every single body who would listen or who would read. Like the whole, I like you, and then they would reply with something like, hold on, what the fuck? Okay. I, I, it would be like the, I like you, and then they, some of them would reply with, um, you don't even know me, which are the smart ones. And some of them would reply with, I like you back, which are the predators, because for crying out loud you can tell that i was a minor but listen sometimes they pick me a decent moving on but yeah but like that was me on the social media platforms just messaging anybody like these things and at the time i could literally be human trafficked but moving on 
I just needed attention. At the time, I needed attention. And I'm not going to blame no parenting and none of that. Listen, me know what me that do. Me know, I'm 16, but I'm not a dumbass. I know that I, 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 had, it, an, uh, I had an ulterior motive. I'm making sure my tongue is not white because I haven't brushed my teeth from morning and the time is literally past three. Guys, like I said, please don't judge me. I live alone, okay? I live alone and I'm usually the type of guy who brushes teeth morning, during the day and also at night. So I'm proud to open my mouth just now on the camera and it was still pink. Some persons can't do that, but that's okay. Not everybody is flawless. Anyway, so I'm just joking. It's my personality. Um... After that, I basically decided that I'm going to start being more like brazen. I posted my like my number, my contact digits at the time, like on my, like, my social media to say anybody who's interested, like give me a call, and they would literally call me, like dead ass, call my phone. And at the time, I was using my middle name because I thought I was slick. My family had seen my one of my my older facebook accounts that i had it was called daniel ford um but i had to change it because they told me to delete it but you see because me now listen i deleted it and then i created a new one like a dumbass with my same profile picture but just my middle name so it was middle name ford um and then after that i um things was going for me i was getting calls like a call center and it was it was like one thing i like about myself you see regardless yes you called my phone yes you want to hook up as soon as you reach the hookup say this is me cutting it because i'm not meeting no stranger from the internet i just wanted fun i'm sorry for the misunderstanding general me just about me not ready for settle down one of the many persons who you know reached out to me via social media decided to take a different approach in a case where i felt something this person took a different approach to like what i would um this what the fuck am i saying i threw myself off this person took a different approach from like what everybody else was doing so you know everybody else was feeding into my ego and telling me exactly what i want to hear so as soon as you know them tell me enough and them think it's okay them one link so anyways me never link up. one day i'm like fuck it you know so me go really and truly just go for it and um i went to school did i i didn't even go to school that day actually i was such a broke motherfucker back in these days like i would put my uniform on this might be relatable or controversial whichever one want to take it as i put my uniform on that day and i just because i needed to pay school as fear i put my uniform on that did not go to school that day and i went to this person's house at the time listen when me tell you say i was so don't care that's a jamaican word if you're watching internationally i'm sorry but let me give you a, like a an alter an alternative for the word i'm very ignorant so don't care um i was just don't care like i haven't been anywhere that's you know exciting or fun or i didn't even know to take taxi go to certain places because i wasn't raised in like a home where i had to take like taxis to travel like a mile to you know know the place i wasn't like that so i walk more go school i walk come back so when i was going to the parish because it's a whole different parish so it's like insane how brave i was at age 16 this person was fucking um to say the least i did not have bus fare so the fear the fear did pay on arrival but i it was instant like instant regret like i was like oh my fucking god daniel what the fuck are you doing this is so real and i knew exactly that if you're gonna meet up with somebody we ain't, we ain't gonna be talking bitch we're gonna be having sex and it was very 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 scary for me i was a 16 year old underaged underweight motherfucker who knew what he was doing but he wasn't ready for what's gonna happen and i was so fucking like i was so scared um you know upon arrival i was afraid um I, I made it to the the scheme not the house and you know while walking at with this person going to like the house it was like it was like i'm walking to my impending death 
I did not smell any stinking odor, I'm gonna be realistic with you, but I could smell that you were masking your mouth, the scent in your mouth. And that's a turn off to me because, listen, you know some of you the day before, why I know you put it toothpaste in your mouth? Why you do it, junk girl? It happened, the place was a mess by the way, the house was, oh my God, I, I never like going to a house I'm tidy and it's a disaster. It was a train wreck and a half and I hated it all. Long story cut short, um, you know, clothes come off, multiple places, um, and oh, by the way, like I said, it's my first time having any intercourse whatsoever, so it was kind of a boom. So after that, um, yeah, birds flow away dramatically. I hated everything and it was not what it, it wasn't giving I didn't like it so um, after that I was promised I was promised I was promised I was promised money to go back home and I got exactly what I asked for first of all five hundred dollars just there and I'm like okay so what now what is gonna happen now you know i felt dirty the regrets were crawling in when i was in the show i was having one of those dramatic scenes where everything in the shower turns black and white and the shower is just the water from the shower is just beating on your face and you're just standing there wondering like whoa i did it and it wasn't a yay i did it type of feeling it was like a fuck i did it type of feeling and it wasn't so great but you know it happened and can't take it back so um that's how everything went for my v cards um i, I mean i have nothing else to say i have a few more stories to tell but you know this is youtube we're going to try and drag out the story that we're going to do in a one video so this is the last vi this is what am i saying this is the end of the video thank you for watching if you've made it this far and if you have made it this far congratulations you earn yourself the bottle of water in the fridge where I have the all along now where you keep on a ignore and a take up a juice and a drink instead so you can follow me on anything it's at d daniel ford you know let me know that you like my videos by liking the video you can subscribe if you want i won't beg um in the meantime between time i'll see you when i do peace and chicken grease i'll see you in the next video bye